Yo guys, what's up? I'm Skello and today I will be showing you how you can add self-made custom maps to your Gorilla Tag copy. So first what you want to do is you want to pro builderize the map you want to uh, you want the custom map to be in. If you don't know how to add like pro builderize the GTAG maps, uh, I'd recommend you watch this video right here. This one. And then if you pro builderize your map what you want to do is like you want to select the part where you want your custom map to be. I'll just go ahead and do it right here at secret tunnel. And then what you can do is either like I can show, show it to you right here. Hold up. So either you can extrude it by holding shift and then dragging the red arrow and then dragging it where you want your custom map to be or if you're doing it at secret tunnel, what you can do is just select both of these faces and then go over here and delete those faces so you can get into the tunnel. And then over here you want to select the edges or the sides. You select them all. And then what you want to do is you want to extrude it. Yeah, just extrude it. And then maybe make it like a bit bigger. Yeah, like this. Yeah, should be good like this. And then let me just go ahead and make this. Then I'll go ahead and fill the hole. And here is a small made custom map. Hold up. Let me just go over here, do this, and then what I like to do is just separate the floor. Yeah, separate the floor. Uh, where is it? Detach, and we have the floor, and then up here we have the ceiling. Detach. Yeah, the ceiling, and then I'd go ahead and also detach the tunnel. So you can put a map loader in there. A map loader is basically so you don't have both maps enabled. If you have a small map like this, it's fine. But I recommend you detach the tunnel. Let me just name this tunnel. And then you can put a map loader in here so it uh, uh, loads between the custom map and this and the forest. Or whatever map you have. And then let me just go ahead and select some other materials. Hold up. I will be going ahead. Let me just go grass. Hold up. Wait, I gotta remove all the other materials. Well, yeah, let me just do this. And then up here, I will be doing a little room like that hold up yeah like this then go up and remove the faces up here so detach oh no delete just do this delete yeah and then we have a little skylight up here so basically you can put in the map anything you want it doesn't matter what you put in there um also, if you want to fix that the textures are looking that small, just select every face. And then when you have all faces selected, you want to go to UV editor, then change it to manual, box. And then you want to scroll out and just like scale it down. And there you go. Now it's a lot bigger. And you can do that with everything you have like... Everything you have pro builderized. Let me just do it with the floor as well. Just go down like this. Yeah, this. And then I'll go ahead and take the rock wall. Select. Yeah, rock wall like this. Yeah. And then I'll select these faces. UV editor, convert to manual box, and then scale down. 
yeah like this and i'll just go ahead and take the uh, the roof up here and let me see i'll put the pit wall up here why not and then select the faces again go back to uv editor convert to manual box scale down and yeah there you go you have a simple custom map and i hope you liked the short tutorial if you did please like and subscribe uh and i see you guys in the next video bye